everyone I'm Savannah and welcome to my channel um, I am the dyer and business owner behind so Libby dyes yarn um, and I will have all my social media links down below in the description so that you can easily find me uh, today is April 13th it's a Tuesday and it is 9 41 in the morning the only reason why I'm getting a late start to this video is because I cleaned this basement. Um, as you can see, I'm washing the cover to this couch currently. That's probably what you can hear. Completely forgot about that. Um, my friend Jen, you might know her as Spectacular Yarns or Jen Crafts here on YouTube. I'm just coming over in a little bit. Uh, this is probably going to be the last time we ever get to hang out. She's moving away, which really sucks. Um, that reminds me I wanted to grab that too so I can show that uh, before it's gone. Um, I only have a few minutes to record this video or at least get it started because I have lunch cooking right now and I have about 10 minutes before it's done. So I'm going to get a little bit of a start. It'll probably be a break and then I'll try to get it finished before Jen gets here. Um, so yeah. I'm really trying hard to look at this side of my, you know, into the camera of my phone. It's really hard when I'm right there and all I want to do is look at myself. <laughs> Not trying to be, you know, vain or anything like that. It's just, I prefer to see what I'm doing, what I look like, so I don't look like a complete weirdo. Anyways. Alright, so I got a bit of knitting um, to show you. Um, a bit of knitting. And... Yeah, we'll just get into it. Um, my April Socks of the Month. This is for the uh, Rainbow Socks Chronicles Knit Along Rainbow Sock Chronicles. I don't know if it's socks or sock. If you say it with sock, you know, with the S after socks, it just sounds like mouthful. I don't like it. But I can't remember which way it actually goes. So it's the Rainbow Sock Chronicles um, Knit Along. It's by, it's hosted by So Sweet Violet and Lay Family Farms. It's on Ravelry. I know not everybody can access Ravelry. Um, so, but uh, the, the whole premise is, is you're knitting a pair of socks every month based on a color for that month. So January was pink, February was dark pink or red, March was orange or peach, and February, I mean, oh my gosh, uh, what are we in, April? April's yellow. So I chose this pattern and it's only been a week but I can't remember much of what I've said of this. This is the Alvar by Fiona Alice. I'm pretty sure I've said something especially about the sizing. Um, so I switched uh, down to a zero, a US zero which is a two millimeter needle I believe. Um, and it seems to be better. Um, these stripes on here are in Tarja. If I would have known how this was going to knit up, there would have been a totally easier way to do this. Um, honestly, I think all I could have, or all I need to, well, what am I trying to say? The easiest way to knit these socks if I were to do them again was to just knit a plain vanilla sock and do duplicate stitches. Honestly, I think that would have been the easiest way about this. So let me show you my progress. I'm still on sock one. I'm just chugging away. Um, it is a little bit slower because of the intarsia and the fact that it's on a US zero. It's quite small on my fingers. But here is where I'm at. So these are toe up socks. This yarn is Sun Shower by me. So, uh, so Livy dyes yarn. Um, I don't know if I'll bring this color way back. And this blue is another one that I dyed up for um, the Sharon Show shawl. Um, so there's no name, it was just one I dyed up. But they went really well together. So the, yesterday I got to the heel. Well, the last two days I had been doing the um, gusset increases. So there's increases on that side. And it's a little hard to see because I'm kind of in the middle of a round or a row. So increases. And then I did the heel, 
turn, which I messed up on. I got a little cocky with this pattern. I'm doing the short rows for the heel. And I kept forgetting to add in the um, knit one or purl one right before I did a wrap and turn. So some have it, some don't. I mean, I got the same number of stitches I needed. So I'm hoping it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but then when I started getting, I just got into the heel flap and what did I forget? To, oh, I was so, again, I was getting a little ahead of myself and I would knit or purl what I needed to and then I'd forget to do the decrease stitches right before I would turn. So I might have to rip it back just a little bit. I'm hoping I can figure out where to rip it back, you know, to the to the end of the gusset, I guess, right before I did the heel uh, turn setup thing. That way, because those de uh, that heel gut or the gusset, it's not fun. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. This my thing. I have all of the, I have these all tucked in. So this is how my intarsia is going so far. I just kind of tucked it into the sock to keep it um, out of my way while doing the heel. Normally I would have it dangling out, but it might work better if I just kind of keep it inside. So yeah, just knit sock one. These socks are gonna take a while. In my baby Yoda bag. All right, whip number two, another pair of socks still on sock one. I haven't picked this one up in a little while because I have not um, had the time for it. It's not a priority like my rainbow socks and my test knit. So these ones are on the back burner. Um, Oops, let's go this way. So this is where I'm at. Again, it looks like I'm in the middle of a round. Uh, these are the All the Frills socks by Summer Lee Design. It's part of her shorty sock collection. I'm doing this in my, I guess I'm gonna just call it the lollipop yarn because I dyed this yarn using lollipops. Um, so yeah, it's you got this little frilly cuff um, and you go right into the heel, which I did my first ever heel flap and gusset. And everything looks like it turned out well. So that's pretty exciting. Yep, no holes, so I'm pretty proud of that. And yeah, I just gotta figure out how far to go since I can't really count 60 rows like I normally would if I do an afterthought heel. Um, because the heel's already in. So <laughs> I'm gonna play by ear and figure out exactly where I need to. The pattern suggests you go to the tip of your pinky toe, but my feet, like if this is your big toe, my feet are more, my toes go like this, not like this. So we'll see. And this is in my, Oh gosh, who, who makes these bags? Oh, the Worthing Sheep. Worthing Sheep bag. It's a little sock sack with the divider and then there's a magnetic um, clip on either side to separate your yarn. And it's embroidered with Darn It. This is super cute little bag, I love it. It's perfect for socks. All right, um, my test knit, I'll show you my progress on that. So it's the Wanderer Pullover by Tiff Nealon or Tiff um, Hand Knits. I'm testing the update. So this pattern, I don't know if it's still available on um, Ravelry. Uh, the original pattern was up for a while. She decided to update the sizes and add more sizes, I believe. So she wanted to get it test knitted again. Um, and so I'm one of the lucky ones since I already had the original pattern. I was able to be a test knitter. Um, I even had the yarn and everything ready to go. I just procrastinated on the actual sweater. So it's a herringbone 
neckband. There's herringbone cuffs and a herringbone hem. Um, this is optional on the bottom. Sleeves are plain stockinette and the body is a slip stitch detail. I am still on the body. But I'm, I'm getting closer. I think I can get the body done within a couple days if I just really knock it out. So this is where I'm at. This is where I was last time I showed you. So last uh, Tuesday, I was right here and I've worked that much. This yarn is so soft. So yeah, I got about, oh gosh, four inches more, maybe five inches, and then I can do the um, hem. I was debating on doing the uh, twisted rib hem that's available, but I might go with <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I just finished lunch, so <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I like when it says 10.06. I seem to always look at it either if it's a.m. or p.m., 10.06, because that's my birthday. <laughs> It's always fun when I see 10.06. Anyways, okay. I was talking about my my Wanderer pullover. Just one more quick share. Yep, just a few more um, inches, I think, and then I can do the, the hem, which uh, I was saying I'm thinking I want to do the herringbone hem. I am a little nervous. My hips are a little wider than... I don't know if they're wider than my shoulders, but I do have wider hips now that I've had two children. Um, so I don't know if it'll be too tight with the, I mean, but the herringbone does stretch. And I did put this over my head the other day. So not a full try on, I just stuck it on my neck because <laughs> I was being weird. Uh, yarn that I used for this is not available that I am aware of. Um, last time I checked, it was, discontinued. The black um, is a, it's the Knit Pick Special Reserve Arcadia. It's a DK weight Condor black colorway. So it's, excuse me, it's 60% uh, Merino, 25% Baby Alpaca, and 15% Dongle Tweed. So That is that. And then the green is um, a hand dyed by a friend. She dyed it for me specifically. And so I'm going to use this color, uh, this green color as well for my cuffs. I probably won't add any green to the hem. It'll just be in the neckband right here and the, the cuffs. <clears throat> so yeah. Okay, um, last whip. I don't have any finishes this this week. So last whip, um, <clears throat> I actually decided to pick up my Radvent calendar or Radvent uh, cardigan. Again, this is by Amba O'Brien. Um, it was designed specifically for <clears throat> a yarn advent. Um, I didn't get a yarn advent. Well, I did get a yarn advent last year. Um, and I just got a small one from Le Garçon and Emilia and Philomene. It was just like a 13 day advent. <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my gosh, I can't clear my throat. Anyways, so I had some yarn from Monsoon Calamity. Um, she makes these big gradient cakes. Uh, I wish I had one to show you, but I don't. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this is terrible. She makes these big gradient cakes and her, all her yarn is 100% cotton. It's 100% cotton, it's, four, uh, it's stranded cotton. Um, so the fingering white is a four stranded cotton. Um, oh, it's, I'm not gonna be able to show you. It's just four strands of cotton that she puts together. <clears throat> I deconstructed my cake in order to make this so that I could determine, you know, use each color as kind of like a separate color, like a, an advent would be. Um, and so I already have the 
right side finished, which is hanging up there. <laughs> Should I turn you? It's hanging up there on my other sweater that needs sleeves. <clears throat> and so I needed to finish the left side. I did have the left side finished a while ago, and then I realized that I had messed up and I had to actually rip it all back out. Not the whole sleeve, but all the way to um, this color right here. So all the way to this junction, I had to rip it back. So I kind of said screw it, which I'm in the middle of a round again, which <clears throat> seems to be like the gist of everything in my life. So I slowly started adding it and then I was like, well, I got all these test knits so I can't work on it. So yeah, I got a little bit more to go. Um, just a few more rounds in this color and then I can add in the next color, which is this one. Um, and that's when I'll split for the front and the back, which should make it a little bit easier because I'll only be knitting on um, half of this. And then the last color um, this is the darkest color and then I can graft or Kitchener stitch the two halves together and then I dyed this um, <clears throat> this this is just a regular 75 25 uh, percent you know merino nylon blend I dyed this one to go with this um, so this is the cuff and it'll also be the button band and the hem that goes on it as well <clears throat> So the colorway that I used um, is called Nova. And this one had exactly 13 colors. I always get the biggest one because you never know what you want to make with it. So it's about 306 grams. <clears throat> and it started, this is the middle of the cake. And then the darkest color is the, um, the outside. So the way that she makes her yarns, um, I'm pretty sure this is the same with every cake. The interior color is always the smallest, around, mine was around 18 grams. And then each color gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Not on this, but just in the cake. Um, each color gets bigger and bigger and bigger until you get to the last one, which was around 30 grams. So it was perfect for <clears throat> my size of this. Because I didn't have to use the full, even with this, I didn't use the full color um, for both sleeves yep so yeah this is where I'm at and I think it'll be great for spring considering it is cotton so it'll be very airy spring summer um so yeah I've been working on that a little bit uh trying to get get it further along but I have to focus on my test knit which I should put this back in here I need to focus on this test net, get it finished. I have so many plans for <laughs> spring and summer knits, so I need to get that off my plate and get it done. Um, last little thing, I guess I do have a finish, kind of. Um, this is a little crochet finish. Um, I fell down some kind of rabbit hole, but not really. Um, I follow this lady on Instagram, and I think I found her because of the that sweater this one right here whoa finger that one right there that is the ingles by uh caitlin hunter and when i went to start that i wanted to figure out you know <clears throat> how many of the little motifs were there so i could do the, the the color way or the color work the way i did it um so i found this lady and i you know I ended up following her because i like everything that she was making anyways the other day she posted her wearing earrings that she made with a pattern for these monstera leaves I think she test knit um, the pattern mine is not perfect um, I kind of screwed up at the end but anyways I immediately went <laughs> and got the pattern because I really like monsteras I really want one I just have not been able to find one local yet um, but one day I will have one of these. Anyway, so I crocheted one. Um, this is in a fingering weight. I, this is um, a colorway that I dyed up uh, a while ago as a test. I just wanted to see how the dye looked. 
so I did just a, like a little 20 gram mini <laughs> I barely used any of it to make this I shouldn't say barely I don't know how much is left um, and you use a oh gosh what size crochet hook it was tiny a two two maybe it was a 2.25 millimeter hook I don't know the pattern has actually from thread size all the way up to bulky weight and then the different hooks like the different size hooks or range of hooks you can use for each um, size yarn so that's really cool and there's an additional add-on where you can turn this into an, a granny square so that you can make a blanket so you'd make this first and then you can make the square on the outside of this um so yeah i whipped this up the other day again it's not perfect you can see my little thing went whoop, whoop. i seem to have run out of like stitches i don't know um i do plan to make more um i saw somebody's amazing finish on instagram the other day where they took one of those like insect boxes you know like it's a it's like a shadow box frame with a little glass door on it and she knit well crocheted a ton of these different yarns um she pinned them to it to the box and then underneath she put the name of the yarn the 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 dyer's name and some other detail like like an insect display case it was so cool and i'm like i think i want to do that or at least attempt so i have this one it's not the best one but this is my little avocado colorway <laughs> so and I have a crap ton of green yarn in there so when I finish like making something with that yarn whatever scraps I have left I can make more of these I'm pretty excited about this so if you love my yarn <laughs> you can still buy it if you crochet um, there's patterns out there that use fingering weight yarn for crocheting Go for it. I have lovely yarns, which you can't see. There's all the new colorways. Still available. All right, that is it for my projects. I brought another one down, but I haven't even worked on it, so I don't know why I brought it. Um, I do have a little bit of haul. This haul is like, I, I'm like, why did I buy this? Because pretty shiny. So I bought myself some fiber. I haven't even spun in like, a long time so I don't know if I'm gonna get any better at it I mean I should try um, I was looking for my drop spindle the other day so I have two I have a bottom spin one like a and I have a top one I prefer my top one better it feels more natural for me I have no clue what I did with it I can't find it anywhere um, I tried using the bottom um, weighted one or whatever it's called I just can't I can't figure out how to use it <laughs> so um yeah and i'm i'm nervous to try my e-spinner again just because it's hard it's really hard and discouraging um when your friends tell you that yeah they're they're nice for the budget but they're not the best and i'm like i can't afford a really nice wheel um even an electric wheel so anyways like i said i bought some more fiber um this is from paradisefibers.com so i believe this was part of their fiber of the month last month i think so so do they do a fiber of the month which i think i want to i'm not gonna do it yet but i think maybe i want to because you get some goodies too but i think it was last month they did a like a fairy tale box and there was like eight different colorways that you could have randomly got in your box. Um, and then after the month or something, they release it to the general public. So I got an email saying that these color ways, you know, these fairy tale colorways were released and I was like, oh, I really liked some of them. So I ended up getting two. <laughs> um, the first one is Once Upon a Time, and it's the it's Merino and Stellina. It's four ounces. It doesn't say that though, but it's four ounces. Um, and it is, oh, it's gonna be difficult to see. It's this pretty like pink and blue 
and purple with a uh, rainbow Stellina, which is awesome. Can you see that? I mean, you can see the sparkle, but I don't think you can tell that it's it's rainbow. The Stellina is rainbow. You got blue, red, um, green. I think there's some green. Maybe I'm seeing mostly just blue and red. I don't know. It's it's awesome. <sighs> so I do have some other fiber from Paradise Fibers. I think I showed before. Maybe I'll test with that fiber, like practice with that fiber. Because it's not like, I mean, it's pretty. That's why I bought it. But it's not like... I can't ruin this kind of like this next one I'm gonna show you. Like this one, I don't wanna ruin. This one's called Under the Sea and it's another Merino Stellina blend. Also from the fairy tale collection. So this one's based on The Little Mermaid. So they had um, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. I think they had a Moana one. F Frozen, who's uh, like an Olaf, like worth melting for, I think it was called. They had a Over the Rainbow one. Get what other colorways but this one was was my most favorite and i'll pull this all the way out so this one <clears throat> is blue red and like a minty green or a tealy green with blue stellina look at that it is so pretty like this is gorgeous there's a bit of white actually in there too. So yeah, I don't I don't want to ruin this. <laughs> don't, I don't want to ruin this at all. I really love this one. So yeah, I I'm crazy. But I suppose you're not gonna learn if you don't try, right? You don't know until you try. And I get a little butt hurt when I do try something and it's not perfect the first time. Which, you know, it shouldn't be perfect the first time. You know, if you've never done something before, you're learning. It doesn't come natural. I mean, granted, knitting is never difficult for me. <laughs> um, crocheting was never difficult. Um, so I guess I just base all my cross stitch. <laughs> it's not difficult. Um, I'll get there. Hopefully I can get there one day. All right, last thing. This is what I want to show before Jen gets here. She's not going to see this video until later. So she'll get this before the video releases. But this is what I made her. Hey, don't scratch my couch. Get. This is what I made her. This beautiful Colorado fabric. Um, so I don't know where this is. Um, I live near Garden of the Gods. Well, not near it, but I can see it when I drive around town. Um, Pikes Peak, and this is also Garden of the Gods, the Kissing Camels, um, rocks. Um, just the Rocky Mountains. We got, um, I guess Lark Bunting is the bird. She's scratching my couch. She's a pain in the butt. We got a Dinosaur National Museum. Or monument, I should say, sorry. And that, that building is the Mesa Verde National Park. I don't I don't know where that's located. And Columbine Flowers is the National Flower. Uh, the San Luis Valley, I don't know where that is. And then we got like Denver and Boulders on here. Anyways, so the, yeah, I made her one of these bags. Let me grab this out real quick. And then the interior is just a bunch of uh, places in Colorado. So we've got Rocky Mountains, Pikes, Pikes Peak, the Centennial State, Denver, Boulder, uh, Garden of the Gods, Dinosaur National Monument. So I guess a lot of the same stuff just written out. So that's the interior. This way she will always remember <laughs> Colorado. Um, and then I got her some little baby clothes for her little one. It is due uh, in August, but I sadly won't meet him because she will be gone. This one's super cute. I have not been in the baby section of a store 
in a really long time. So I was like, dang, I miss little baby clothes. <laughs> I do, I don't want a baby, but I miss baby clothes. So yeah, those are for her. A cute little bag. And then I'll have a bag like this similar, like out of this material, um, a drawstring bag that someone is making. Just waiting for her to ship it. Uh, hopefully my batch will be be next. She had a really big pre-order. Yep, okay. I think that is it, guys. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else really going on. Um, everything is working. Thankfully, we've had no big issues this past week. Um, the washing machine is amazing. I love it. <laughs> I love that thing. Um, water heater is great. Um, no other issues. Uh, this past Sunday, my husband and I redid our pantry finally. Um, not really redid it, but we, we took the old laundry space and converted it into a pantry. So... If you follow me on Instagram, you would see all those pictures. It's really nice to have like a bigger space for all of our stuff. <laughs> and so it's not everywhere. Um, and that has been about it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, if you're new, thanks for stopping by. If you are returning, Thank you so much for returning. That means a great deal to me. Um, so go ahead and subscribe, like, comment if you want. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Maybe Wednesday. Or I mean Monday. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Bye.